Hi, boys and girls, it's Mrs. Wallace. I have a very special surprise for you. Today, I'm gonna to be reading you the story called The Night Before Kindergarten. That's tonight. Tonight is the night before kindergarten. I thought it would be really fun if we could read this book together, but since we can't be together in person, I figured I could just send you a message. This book is called The Night Before Kindergarten, and it's written by Natasha Wing. "'Twas the night before kindergarten, and as they prepared, kids were excited but a little bit scared. They tossed and they turned about in their beds while visions of school supplies danced in their heads. Erasers and crayons and pencils galore were stuffed in their backpacks and set by the door. Where did you put your school supplies? Savannah and Scarlett, my daughters, their school supplies are on a shelf in our house until we get a desk that they can work on. Outfits were hung in the closets with care, knowing that kindergarten soon would be there. In the morning it came, school starts today. Would the teacher be nice? Would they still get to play? Faces were washed and teeth were brushed white. Kids posed for pictures with eyes sparkling bright. Parents packed snacks and kids hopped in cars as they were boarding a spaceship to Mars. Some kids brought blankets or their favorite stuffed bear in hopes they could nap like they did in daycare. Their parents exclaimed, you're big kids now. Let us hold your bears and blankies for now. The good thing about remote class is you get to have your blankies and your stuffed animals. You're lucky. The parents were worried their children would cry if they left them at school with just a goodbye. So they told their darlings, if you want, we can stay and make sure that everything will be okay. The teacher then greeted each one with a smile and invited the students to stay for a while, like tomorrow. The room was all filled with toys, books, and maps. But where were the beds or mid-morning naps? They colored and painted and played, Simon says, then tumbled and skipped and stood on their heads. They sang silly songs from beginning to end. Within just a minute, each kid had a friend. The children were happy. They loved Miss Sunrise. It was she who was in for a giant surprise. What do you think the surprise is? Look at the kids, how happy they are. What do you think the parents are going to, how the, are the parents going to feel? When what to her wondering eyes should appear, but sad moms and dads who were holding back tears. Look at them so sad, their babies are in kindergarten. Their noses so sniffly. Their eyes red and wet. This was the saddest goodbye Miss Sunrise had seen yet. She gathered the grown-ups on the magical rug, then sent them away after one final hug. The children all waved from the door of the school. Your school's in your house. How lucky are you? Don't cry, Mom and Dad. Kindergarten is cool. The end. Boys and girls, I'm so excited for our first day of school tomorrow. I can't wait to meet you, and we're going to have an excellent time. I hope you enjoy your last day of summer and do something really special today with your family. Have a great day, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye!